Fairness Clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I've got a customer here with a 2007 dresser, and he doesn't have a tail light. Brake light works, turn signals work, but the tail light doesn't work, and neither does the front running lights. Ah, there's something that is in common. So my first thing is is to check the connection underneath the seat. No, nothing obvious, and that's what this video is all about. Don't always take just the obvious and then go on. So I disconnected this, put the power to the blue wire, because that's lights for a running light, and a, and a ground for the black wire. Connected it, it lit up. So I've got a tail light. That works, and the wiring from here to there works. But the gentleman also has a lowering kit on it. So I raised the motorcycle up to check to make sure the tire did not compromise the wires that follow the fender. Nothing's been compromised here. So I get to the schematics. This is where it's important to have a service manual because it has schematics and it says, where do all the blue wires go? So I followed it and I go, okay, from here, it comes over to here. I check my power at the blue wire here. I don't have power here. Where does it go? Well, it splits off. And one of the places it splits off is the fuse box. And sure enough, the fuse is blown under lights. So I can put a fuse in there and say I fixed the problem. But that's the obvious thing. And we don't take the obvious thing here. There could be other issues. So I've always made myself a circuit breaker. These were in the 1980s and 90s on some of the Harleys. It's a 15 amp. And I got an adapter from an automotive store. And I've hooked it up because I don't want to pay for fuses all the time while it is shorting out. So this, if I find the short, it clicks and then resets itself and I can retest. So I don't have power here. So the other place that a possibility of lights, especially with the running lights not working, is here. This is a tight fit where wires go in and a lot of times vibration will break the, the rubber covering and the wires inside can touch a piece of metal which is grounding it out and going. But this side and this side are good. So now I take the fairing off because I know there are two braces on early models that are metal and the wires are all pushed up against it. And with age and with vibration, things can move. And sure enough, I'm over here and I see, I hope the camera can see it, I've got a little notch. Something that's not painted black. I've got something that tells me, hey, something's been rubbing here. So I unplugged this wiring harness and I'm looking all over, and what do I see? There it is. Blue wire. It touches when it wants to, and it doesn't. It does, and it does. This could drive a technician nuts trying to find. But when you know the motorcycles, and you know where the possibilities are, you take it a step further than, oh, it's just a blown fuse. Put the fuse in, let it go. No, you say, what else could cause this fuse to blow. If the tail light is working and all the wiring's good from there back, let's go forward. That's what I did. So I'll repair this wire, put it all back together again, and put a new fuse in the fuse box with confidence saying, this job has been taken care of. So while you're working at home and you see or find a blown fuse, don't take the obvious and say, oh, it's just a blown fuse. Find the reason it blew. It could be age. Vibration and age can blow a fuse. But take the extra time to go a little bit further and look in your service manual at the schematics and go, what are all the possibilities that could blow this fuse? Just a little another tech tip from Low Country Harley-Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.